Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another informed player review with me, your boy FIFA Wonder HD. As you can see, we are going to be looking at Inform Mello and his 82 rated CDM card. He was absolutely incredible, exactly what you'd expect. An absolute brick wall in front of your defence that soaks up the pressure, uses his good range of passing, decent pace, good dribbling, and his good shooting well in attacking areas. He is such a fantastic overall player, the perfect midfielder for any occasion. You know, very similar to a Vidal, to a Pogba, in the way that he can do a bit of everything, but obviously he excels in certain areas, namely his defence and his physicality. He's got 88 strength, and it really does feel like 88 strength. Some players that I have used... You know, who've got high strength, it's not felt that great. Maybe I've expected too much. But with Melo, he felt so strong. You know, he never got pushed off the ball. He was so, so good at winning it back with his strength. Held off challenges left, right and centre. So really, really good in that respect. His defence was brilliant too. As you can see, his stand and slide tackles are very, very high. And it just felt like the ball was drawn to him like a magnet. You know, players would be running at him and he'd just always be in the right position just to get a foot in, to get his body in front of the ball and just to win it you back, you know, because that's what you want from a sort of good CDM or a defensive central midfielder is just to soak up the pressure, be in the right places to slow the game down when they're attacking and win the ball back and get it moving up the pitch. Now, as I said earlier, he has got everything in his locker. He really has. You know, so when he does win the ball back, he's got decent dribbling to sort of get him out of a tight spot here and there. As you can see in some of the clips, you know, he did manage to twist and turn. It's not fantastic. I wouldn't advise going on loads of mazy runs like you would with an Oscar or someone like that. But he's got it in his locker when he needs to, to give it a little twist, turn, any way to get out. Obviously, he's only got three-star skills, but that's not terrible. You know, It's not brilliant, but it's not bad either. It's not something you're probably going to be using too much. Three-star weak foot isn't bad at all, you know, for, for the sort of position that he's in. His passing is very, very good. Crossing is a little bit average, but by and large, his long-range passing and his short-range passing is really spot-on. I didn't find many passes that you know didn't hit his target with Melo, to be quite honest. His shooting was very, very good. He scored quite a lot of goals for me in the time that I used him, so I was very impressed in that respect. Obviously, his long shots and his shot power are bang on the money, so if you do get the chance to shoot, you know, free up a little bit of space with him and bang it because you stand a very, very good chance of going, you know, at least on target, but you know maybe get grabbing a goal for your team as well one-on-one -on -one finishing was a little bit poor as you can see on the key stats 65 finishing isn't fantastic but it's it i didn't I, it felt higher in all honesty to be to be quite honest it felt more like a, a sort of 75 you know he scored most one-on-ones but there were sort of you know one out of the three chances that he would miss or hit just straight at the goalkeeper, which was a little bit frustrating because they were chances you felt he should have scored. But, like I said, to be quite honest, the fact that he can shoot at all is an absolute bonus and please take it that way because primarily he is a ball-winning midfielder that will get to the edge of the box and pass it off or maybe just have a long shot. His pace was pretty good as well. It felt around sort of 75, 77. You know, he's got enough in his locker to get away and, and free up some space for him. So, yeah, really, really good overall in, in all areas. I was really impressed. He comes with a power header trait and, he, and his heading is good in both boxes. You know, he'll defend well in your own and he'll attack it well when you do get a corner. You know, he's always getting on the end of it and he has got that power header trait, which is just fantastic for getting that extra little bit of power and keeping it sort of low, which I found. His price isn't bad at the moment, to be quite honest, around sort of 60k to 70 on both consoles. I think that's a pretty good price as it is, in all honesty. But, 
you know, I think it may fall to around 40 to 50. And if it does, you are getting an absolute bargain. If it sticks, you are still getting a bargain because he's so, so good. And if he played in the Premier League or in a Liga with those stats, he would be way more. He'd be 150k easily. So if you can fit him into your team, which shouldn't be too hard because Brazilians are scattered all over the leagues, so it would be easy to get into a hybrid as long as you have a few Brazilians in there. You know, I found it not too difficult at all. He fit into a few of my teams, player I've used before, so it's nice to just upgrade to a nice inform card that has got a fair few really good hidden stats. So definitely worth using. Overall, I've given him 9 out of 10. Obviously, no one's perfect, and there are a few minor cons on the card, like his one-on-one -on -one finishing. His balance isn't that great, but it's you know it's not something you'll notice too much because of his really good strength. Crossing, you know, being nitpicky, and his league obviously isn't brilliant, but so many pros on this card, which has boosted it up to nine out of ten, including his tackling, which is superb, and he's just. In you know, in general, sort of defensive positioning and the way he defends, his pace is good, great strength, long shots, very very tidy, and shot power as well. You know, his passing is pinpoint accuracy every time. Heading is very powerful. His positioning and he's relatively cheap. Potentially could be even cheaper. So overall, just a really great all-round player that if you can fit into your team, will do you the perfect job in that position. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, please hit like, subscribe, and peace.